I'm going to show five different stories, more or less in chronological order. When I came to Paris in 1971, I knew nothing about photography. I certainly didn't dream of being a photographer. I didn't know one could even be a photographer. Uh, a few years later, I was searching around for something to do with my creativity. I had an old uh, Kodak Instamatic that broke and I took it in to be repaired. And the man behind the counter looked at it with disdain and said, this is not worth re repairing. If you wanna take photos, you should buy a real camera. And I always feel it was his fault that I became a photographer. Somebody said to me, a real camera is a Nikra mat. So I bought a Nikra mat. And then I thought, well, what am I gonna photograph? I had only seen one exhibition in my entire life and the people in the photos of that exhibition never left me. Uh, that exhibition was by Diane Arbus. And I thought, um, I was young, I was naive and I loved those photos so much that I wanted to copy Diane Arbus. So I started going to gallery openings every Tuesday night in Paris it was at that time and not at the end of 75, beginning of 76, just painting and sculpture. <clears throat> and uh, I met a lot of very boring people, <laughs> but I did meet a woman who told me she knew a prostitute. And when she said that, I jumped at the chance. I had seen these women on the street, dressed like movie queens, whispering at the men who passed. And the prostitutes fascinated me. I thought they were very beautiful and I wanted to know them. And paradoxically, photography became the way to do that. That woman took me down to this building that you see right here, 19 Rue des Lombards in the very center of Paris. That woman in front of the door was named Blondine and she became the principal figure of my very first book. Of course, I didn't know that when I started, but that night we went out across the street to a bar and we drank champagne and it was very chic. I was so timid and I could hardly speak French and I didn't say anything. And at one point Blondine said, what's the matter with the little American? She's not speaking. And I was ashamed because I thought she thought I didn't like her, but in fact, I loved her. I already loved her and I knew I wanted to photograph her. And when I went home, I wrote her a letter and I gave her my telephone number and she said, come on down and see me. And that's how it started. Thank you.